And her general balance is phenomenal. Walk on her hands, pick up dumbbells, throw them in a basket. She can do all kinds of circus acts. She finds them fun. Used to be a gymnast, incredibly strong, can do all this stuff, but that's a scenario specific thing on her hands. Is she good on her feet? Well, she can do some stuff on her feet and she can stand on one leg for a long time. Part of what keeps her standing on this leg for such a long time is she's got the strength slash strength endurance over here, the ability to control everything above it with this hip, and the ability to control everything above this with this foot, which you'll notice right now is going through constant, constant, constant adjustments. And you're like, well, if she was, she's obviously unstable. That's not, that's not stable. Look, the goal of balancing is not to have a foot that doesn't move. The goal of balancing is to keep center of mass over base of support. We got to stay on context here. And the way that brain does that is with whatever it takes. That is important for you to recognize. That foot is doing its job. If she couldn't feel very well with the bottom of that foot, sensory problems, if she didn't have all those things that are producing that movement, she wouldn't be maintaining this right now. So it's a very childish part of our industry that thinks stable is everything stuck. In this gross version of what we're calling stability, because you remember back to when we defined stable, it means unchanging. Well, her foot is providing the context-based, scenario-specific, not uh, uh, lack of movement, preventing movement in her center of mass, keeping it over that base of support. But even as that adjusts, as things get tired, as the hip gets tired, there's constant internal neurological adjustment. When you see that, be glad, because without that, to some degree, your clients are unlikely to be able to improve very much. Yes, we might find that she actually, during the initial stages of this thing, has less and less of that over time. But the longer she stays there and the more fatigued things become, I think you saw that it started working harder. It started finding, trying to, it was tougher to find how to maintain this position. But it certainly is not a static foot scenario.